Hey guys, today's device is the Thunderbolt display. As you already can see, we've taken the stand off. You just stick a credit card in, tilt it forward, and it pops right out. And remove a couple of screws. This is the skin for the back of the Thunderbolt. Yes, it looks very intimidating, but in my personal opinion, it is easier to do than the front. And with this special design, you, it's barely any heating required. I would really only heat the edges just to keep them intact. The first step is to locate where the opening for your USBs would be. With a sharp object, cut out that whole section just so you can check where your alignment would be. Next, you want to locate the areas around the other cutouts. You want to rip that part out too, just enough that you'll be able to see where you can align the skin to your Thunderbolt. Again, like I said, this only looks intimidating. You want to fish the wire from the second hole from the bottom on the skin. As you see here, before I let the center area of the skin go and adhere to the device, I want to try to align around the cutouts the best I can at this point. I'm just going to give it a little press here. That's where the skin is exposed to the device, because that looks good in center. I am pleased with this part of the insulation, so I'm going to go ahead and press it down. We left spaces everywhere, so the area around the USB ports, that looks good too. Next, you want to fold the wax paper around the edges. Now this is just to see if it's nice and even around all the corners. By doing this, we can tell that nothing is hanging over the edge. So, with that said, I am very pleased with the insulation so far. So we can continue on ahead with our next step. From the previous step, you have ripped this whole center area out. So next, you want to just lift this up off the wax backing. Once you have almost exactly half of the back skin off the wax backing, you can rip that part of the wax backing completely off, as you can see I'm doing here. Now, you can start laying the back skin down gently. At this point, you want to start from making your way from the center and just start pressing the air bubbles out along the way. As you can see so far on this side, it came out pretty good. It's not overhanging. Now, if you choose to, you can use your wax paper that we ripped off before and lay the skin down on top of it, just in case we have to work with the other piece and stretch. That's how it's designed, just in case you're off a little bit. Now, with a round motion from working your, with your thumb, work your way to the edge until this quarter of the skin is completely down. Now, with the same circular motion and pressure from your thumb, work the other corner out that we had previously laid floating on top of the wax pad. Now, I'm kind of pulling on the skin to stretch it to reach the corner of the back of the screen. Now, like I said before, there is a little bit of space around the whole back skin. So a little pulling or tugging just to stretch it out may be needed. I'm not completely satisfied on how it laid down so far. So you can lift it back up and Use a little bit more pressure by tugging on it, and you'll be able to line it up a little bit better. We are now done with the first half of our installation. As you can tell, there's a nice thin border around the back skin. Another point I made before is that I said that it was very intimidating, but very easy. As you can tell, we're already halfway done, and we didn't even break a sweat yet. Alright, now it's on to the second half. Now, while removing this piece off the wax backing, be very gentle because the section around the USB will be very delicate 
and it could rip while you're peeling it off. Once you have the back skin off the wax backing completely, remove it and then double check to see if there's any paper that could be stuck underneath. Now, if you want to play it a little safe, use your original piece of wax paper that we used before and cover one of the corners. Just so it's less than likely that you'll make a mistake. It makes it easier for you. Next, you want to divide the middle. You do so by pressing down and removing all the air pockets from the middle section of the skin. After you've done that, you want to line up the section around the USB ports. And then start with your thumb in a circular motion and press out that corner edge. As you see here, as I'm pressing it down, I am stretching out the corner of the skin. I'm doing so so that it meets the edge and it gives it a nice contour, a nice silver border around the skin to the back of the screen. We are now three quarters of the way done with this skin. See, like I said before, it's not so bad, is it? Now, like what we did before, from the center out, start by in a circular motion pressing down all the air bubbles and adhering the skin to the back of the device. And there you go guys, we installed the back skin for the Thunderbolt display. It was very simple, like I added before, it wasn't that difficult. And we did this without the use of any type of heat, like we would usually on any other type of concave device. Now, if you really wanted to, I would grab a hairdryer and lightly heat the corners just so that the adhesive would activate to the device and so there would be no lifting from those set edges. Alright guys, thanks for watching and until next time.